You know, I could cheat. Like, double cheat. But I think that would be going too far. I could, like... Because it's only 14 points for this state. I could, like, take two states. And if I took over two states, then... I'd probably gain enough research points. But I don't know. I, I feel like that would just be too far. Okay, oh, they are attacking me. They are indeed attacking me. Fantastic. Wait, no, they're not. Never mind. Alright, go over to there. Now, ooh, okay, they're moving back. Odd. Okay, let's... No? No, they're going to attack there. They would be smart to attack an Oruro. Okay. 16th. Save again. Oh, jeez. Just cheat. You are so close with only light cheating. Don't ruin it. <laughs> I mean... Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, it's light cheating simply because it, it would get, I would have the same result if I just save scummed. It would just take more time. Okay, let's all jump on that. Defense is plus two, and ooh, that morale! 50% more morale. We might actually be able to uh, hold them off there. Oh my god! Look at that! Oh, they rolled a one, we rolled a seven. Oh, that's beautiful. We actually just destroyed that army. Holy shit! Yes, beautiful! All right, you go there, you two go there. Squish that army, now they're down to seven men, and I'm pretty sure most of those are just oh, uh, mobilized. Oh, we won that battle even regardless. Oh my god. Fantastic, all right, all you dudes, get down there. We need to attack that army, make sure that one dies. Can't allow them to uh, heal up. Fantastic! Yes, yes, yes. Great wars dis discovered. Damn. God damn. Oh, you're at war? Ah, right. So Rio Grande Sul is a part of Brazil, so... <laughs> Brazil's now at... Really? They went to war with the United States? Well, not the war, but they went to war with someone under their sphere, which basically means war. Like, they're not obligated to protect them, but... You know. Oh, we're actually faster than them, so we got there first. Sweet. You know what? Just sp split in half. Combine and split. Propose peace. They won't accept. I love how the AI is like, look, I know I have no army left, but I won't, you know, peace out. Okay. Jeez, a lot of people were commenting. Uh, Your subscribers let you cheat. Hello. Power of the banana. Some racist in this live. What? Okay, um, but yeah, I'm not gonna cheat. I'm so close. I'll just take another land from Peru. They're they're falling apart anyways, you know. So I think I'm okay. We can actually build. Look at these. I can build full bay infantry in South America. All oh, that is disgusting. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One. Still don't even have, like... We have Calvary. Oh, and there you go. Alright, how many points are we getting from this? So we're at 38. 500 points! Only 500! Are you fucking joking? You have been a Google, mate! Wait, are you kidding me? Are they about to take Rio Grande Sul without America jumping in? Oh, you assholes. Oh, that's just great. Oh, we're so close. Look at this connection. We're so close. It was cool how Rio Grande became primitive after being released from you. You could de-westernize the whole world if you got big enough. Well, actually, like, you know, I want to see something. If I released, I, I saved again. This is, I'm, I'm not going to actually, like, do this afterwards, but... If I release, say, Uruguay. <laughs> Uruguay. I just want to see these guys. Uruguay, Paraguay, Bolivia. They look weird with as kingdoms. 
Yep, they're primitives. You release them? I, I can release them all as primitive nations. Holy shit. And look at, look at those flags. I wonder how the mod made these flags. Just gonna resign and reload. I just wanted to see, you know, what that would actually look like. But yeah, I can release civilized nations as primitive nations. I could de-westernize. Ilnir attack France is a weak weak uh France is a weak country. Deadwalker, it's okay, but saying that all bananas are racist is kinda racist. Uh attack France. Are they weak? I don't think they're that weak, dude. I mean they only have four ships. But they are allied with Russia, Austria Hungary, and Belgium. Austria Hungary has ships. Ah, there's no point. There's really no point. Oh, and yep, the big colonization game has finally begun. All right, well, I think I'm just going to attack Peru next. God, I really thought I'd be able to westernize by now. Need 7,000 more points. And westernization will be ours once and for all. Morocco. Yes, Morocco, of course. Why does the U.S. own part of Morocco? What the fuck? Africa is just going to look like a clusterfuck now. Oh, Korea being owned by the Russians is weird. Philippines being an uncivilized nation also weird. Oh, Panama. Panama's definitely under someone's sphere. No, they aren't. They're friendly, though. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Panama, if they weren't allied with Brazil and weren't under someone, I would definitely annex them. Especially since they had the Panama Canal, so... Well, that would be pretty sweet to have. Yeah, all this country can't come to you. No navy, no army, good win. But if you lose, it's not me. No, it's it's not that... Yeah, sure, they have no uh, navy. Granted, they don't have a land connection, but they might be able to walk. They're, they're going to be able to walk through the Sahara now because they're colonizing it. Um, they have no navy. They, have, they do have a navy. They have six ships. But, I mean, their army... 19 tech? If they land one army in my land, I'm fucked. There's no way I can fight that. No way I can fight that. Okay. When is the truce ends? 9th of October. It has taken us close to 60 years, but we're finally westernizing. I really did not expect this to be even remotely possible guys it's all because I took over these South American lands this is I mean this is disgusting though all this full bait the full bait and mossy and others they just shouldn't be in in this lands it is so wrong in so many ways okay I need to split these guys up again Okay, uh, next week, anyone down to play EU4 or Horror 4? Why are you saying this on here? I shan't lie, I want to reunite all of Africa in one country. Yeah, I mean, that's always fun to do. I did, uh, do that really, I, it was Divergences of Darkness mod. I did a, um, South Africa campaign. I got real close to uniting all of Africa. Like, real close. You should check that one out if you haven't. But, um, the fact that I've just survived i think is good enough and also i mean i've annexed every single every single nation in this land is under the tukular empire we've protected the african people so it's pretty much a success all 40 million of us i just remembered i need to attack all 40 million of us have survived oh that is that is quite a few how many only 21 actually not that many all right imprison him oh why is there people oh right because i moved someone there but then, you know, weird things anyways uh japan is doing things awesome you guys just need to kill those we actually did have rebels over here god but they, yeah this whole game is very weird. Lots of, Oh, damn it! I saved, right? Please tell me I saved. Piss. 
Well, actually, that'll give me more time. Or am I already fabricating? I'm not. Great. Hey, Ilir, let's actually fucking save the game! You know, don't be an idiot. Uh, your nation isn't even literate. I think you still have zero literacy growth. Yeah. Even with full education. Simply because I have no uh, intellectuals. I have 0 .33 intellectuals. Now, I, I, again, I could have been focusing the entire time on intellectuals. But still. It wouldn't be enough. I just have too many people, too many, it's too, my nation's too diverse, my nation's too, I have too many states, that sort of thing. I just can't get literacy. Uh, okay. I never did it. Yeah, I see it. Uh, I don't speak English. Italy is just Italy. What? Whatever. Um, anyways. Yeah, it's just Italy. God damn it, why is it always Italy? I know it's just Italy, but... It's like, I don't want to be at war with a nation. That's not a good thing to do. Not a good thing to have. Okay. You know what? There should be message settings. Should be able to find infamy? When, ca when wait, Cassis, look up. Uh, caught, maybe? Events diplomacy. Let's look at diplomacy. When we gain a Casabelli, we break our lives. Oh my! Fu you know, fuck it. Next time it pops up, I'll change it. Maybe I'll be able to catch it. Oh, did I? Am I fabricating? I am fabricating. Good. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Let's pop up and pause. There we go. That's what I want. One, two. Now that it pops up and pauses, I'll be able to stop myself in time. Uh, focus 60 years on education, 2.5% to 7%. Yeah, that's basically what it would do. Mussolini incoming. It's just shitty Italian tank. Don't worry. Uh, I, I actually, there's no tanks yet. But, I mean, again, being at war with someone who has 13 tech when you have 2 tech, it's not, it's not a risk I'm willing to take. Especially since we've gotten this far... I don't want our nation to be dismantled. Well, that it won't be dismantled, but you get contained, and containment just sucks. Just really sucks. Okay, Peru. Time to be attacked. Attacked. Alright, so what can we take exactly? Oh, that's a problem. Well, no, we can take over Cusco. Right, because Lima is up here. All right, save the game again. We'll take Cusco. Seventy-eight percent war score. Jeez. Oh shit, they're not friendly. Okay, cool. I gotta remember. I need to check that before I go to war. Yeah, I'm gonna suffer a lot of attrition, but I'm just gonna have to deal with that. And hopefully, I know I didn't gain many points last time, but hopefully, I'll gain enough points to actually get a new reform and finally goddamn westernize i doubt it though oh more reactionaries well reactionaries just popped up again well you need to kill those in a second all right everyone go on a good old-fashioned rebel hunt kill 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 stabby stabby yeah you know what they can go out and siege me all they want it's not going to do much, though, because this isn't even where my most of my population is. War score, uh, what you get... So when you um, conquer a province, the amount of war score you get is entirely dependent on population. So if they invaded Africa, then I'd be concerned, but right now I'm fine. Here, you know what? You should go kill those dudes. And send them up here. We've taken Lima. Fantastic. We're at 40% now. Come on, just accept it. Accept your fate. You should attack Brazil. The dude only just noticed that. You should attack Brazil. No. No, no, no. Well, first of all, Brazil is protected and allied with Italy. So, no. 
Uh, two, they actually have an army. Uh, 60,000 soldiers. And they have advanced equipment. So, no. Definitely not attacking them. Okay. Making lots of money now. We can turn down tariffs. Let's say to 50%. I know I'm taxing the shit out of my people, and that's why they all hate me. But, uh, well, and also because massive amounts of reactionaries in my land. I might just follow the reactionaries. I mean, as long as I have a large enough army, I should be fine. But, you know, that's just another reason I can't fight an actual power. Like, after I westernize, no more fighting. Like, I need to fix my country. I need to make sure I can stabilize myself. Ugh. Okay, coming now. Yes! There we go. The peace offer has been sent. Come on, give me something good here. 6,002... Nine. Oh, I thought it didn't give me anything. So it gave me 3,000. So I think now I can just sit and wait. It'll take a while. Maybe I can attack Chile again. Where's our truce end? Soon. I don't know. Why was Argentina at war with them? Odd. Uh, wait. Dude, only just Are you going to stream other games? Yes, I will. Don't worry. Your people won't upgrade to intellectuals if you tax them too much, so lower the taxes for lower and middle class. I don't have that luxury. Once I um westernize, I'll get technologies and I'll get a lot more um a lot more uh uh uh, uh money. Connect your borders, trust me, I want to. I can't. I literally can't. Brazil is too strong. Maybe when I westernize and get an uh act get actual army tech. Then I'll attack Brazil to finally connect my uh, lands. Hell, I might just release all these lands as puppets. Because I don't really want the uh, America. Oh, shit. Asuncion? Oh. You guys need to go hunt them. Don't allow them to win. Acquire Western Sahara. The United States accepted crisis offer. Western Sahara. Oh, the United States is colonizing. Ew. I hate it when the U.S. colonizes. Like, that's so ahistoric in all the wrong ways. Like, this is ahistoric in the right ways, you know? An African empire conquering South America. Yeah, I mean, that's cool. America colonizing Africa? No. Get out. You have... Wait, you have 3.7 in cash reserve... Or 3.7 million in cash reserves. I do. It, dude, invest in railroad. Oh, boy. Wait. Actually, do I have railroads? Oh shit, I forgot. Forgot I got that reform. Yeah, I'll ex I'll invest in that. I know I have a lot of... So here's the thing, right? I've learned in Victoria 2. This money goes fast. You start losing money, you start losing money. If you haven't played Victoria 2, you might not understand that. But I mean, like, you lose a lot real quick. That's all the railroads I can build. At least right now. What else did you say? And industry. Oh, well, I can't. I don't have industry. I can't. I can't. Well, first of all, my government doesn't allow me to build industry. I am. In, I am. I'm state capitalism. Oh, wait, never mind. I can actually build. Well, I can, I can build, but I can't because they don't have that technology or the reform. Firearms production. Oh, that'd be pretty good to have be pretty good to actually be able to produce firearms. Who would have guessed? Why does this cost so much? Oh, that's 25% civilization progress? That's pretty good. Universities. You see, and this isn't... This is why foreign universities... This is why I'm not getting educated. At all. I'm trying to get as many intellectuals as possible. I'm actually getting intellectuals now. Because I'm actually funding, you know, my people. Here, I'm gonna... Stop taxing. You know what? Uh, let's stop taxing the middle class. Stop taxing middle upper class, and we'll start tariffing more. I know tariffs still hurt my nation. Let's turn down taxes 75%. That should be good. Once we westernize, ladies and gents, once we westernize, we should be all right. And let's actually turn this down, because I, I think I'm through fighting wars. Turn down the uh, national stockpile. I think we're good now. We're fluctuating. 
Very fluctuating. Uh, God save the viewer. France, yada, yada, yada. Cool. But yeah. And here's Africa. The Dutch have done very well. The British didn't colonize. Canada is just not a thing. It disgusts me. God, Colombia owns way too much land. How's the rest of the world? Japan's looking swell. The British, yeah, they just didn't colonize in Africa. They got South Africa and a little bits of West Africa, but that's it? Like, damn, Britain. Disappointing. All right, here we go, though. We're so close. Western influences. Give me that research points. Now, when I become an actual nation, I'm immediately going to get reforms because my people are 50% liberal. Now, hopefully... I don't get Yakimans, because if I become a um, republic, which I probably will, I'm going to become a liberal nation. Protectionism, laissez-faire. Maximum tax, 50%. Yeah. And then the tariffs, I'm not going to be able to tariff at all. So basically, I'm not going to be able to make money. And you become more reactionary. Hey, we're actually making people now. I don't know why we weren't making people before. I'm assuming it's from... Just the attrition we get. Why is... Oh, is Peru an absolute... Oh, shit. Peru became an absolute monarchy. I'm like, why the hell do they have the flag of the Inca? It's like, oh. Oh, that's why. Anyone, anyone else weird? Uh, Ecuador is proletarian dictatorship. U.S. is Republic. Germany is Germany. Das ist gut, ja. Das ist gut. Come on. Why? It's, we it's always weird to see the military reforms actually costing more than the economic reforms. But I just don't have any um conservatives. Conservatives give you the military reform. Liberals give you the economic reform. <laughs> more reactionaries. La Paz. Okay, so they're all in... Bolivia, or former Bolivia. Got any weird cultures yet? Oh, full bay in the Amazon. I need to blow my nose. Give me a second, guys. Right, allergy season sucks. Uh, cool. So, yeah, almost there. Almost there. Uh, what is this? Uh, oh, geez, you guys are talking to one another. You have very bad English. Wow, Libra sucks. Liberal, yeah, liberalism kind of sucks in this game. Sometimes, sometimes it's really good. I love 1940. I joke. Wakanda forever. Hello, you two. Very good joke. I'm on live. You know. Yeah, yeah, we know. It's kind of what a live stream is. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh, wow. America and France really want the Sahara. Why does America want the Sahara so much? No one lives... How the fuck do 10,000 people live here? 4,000 people live here. Oh, uh, I was getting excited. I was getting real excited there. But nope. Can't get these. These only give us 10% civilization progress. I need 15. What? What? No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Houseland? Where the fuck even is Houseland? Houseland. What? What? The French want Houseland, which is in is my well. First of all, it's Sokoto. Let's just we're gonna build a couple more soldiers. I think 
What the fuck? France just suddenly decides to do that? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two. I built too many. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. There's probably some oil there, right, America? <laughs> right? Yeah, America probably would think that. Uh, cheat. Wait, he did. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna do that. Can I build soldiers? Shit, I don't have regular clothes. Let's get my troops over to here. Now, they might not have a navy, but they can blockade me. And if they blockade you, it's bad. Like, that's what all the European powers did in real life. They just blockaded these uh, empires and were like, Oh, well, you're ours now. Sorry, because if you can't get anything through sea, you're kind of fucked. There's no trade, you know? I'm so close, though. I'm so close. I'm literally just a year away. That means they were justifying on me. Which means they're still justifying on me. But I have a lot of people. A lot of people ready to just throw themselves on top of France there. For Houseland. Why Houseland? Like, okay, if they wanted Windward Coast, I would totally give that to them. That's a hundred... Ooh, a hundred thousand people? Damn. That's a hundred thousand people, but at least it's bordering them. You know? Here, they declared somewhere around here. You know, why would they take Elsaland? We can say we saw nothing. Yeah, you could say that. You can say that. Definitely. I have 40 million people and I don't... Come on. Okay, he's not declaring war now. You just gonna ignore it? Oh! <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. We've done it. Okay, fuck this. Westernize! Wagons West! Finally! Okay, uh, we get Baby Boom until 1901, which gives us a huge population boost. So, we get either a Baby Boom for 10 years, 9 years, or 11 years, whatever. Education reform, Western influences, legation quarter, memorial for foreign diplomat, whatever. We are 10th place in the world. Yay! Uh, attack France and delete everything they have. Fuck you. No. Delay the war for long enough and you can westernize anyways and their CB will become... Actually, yeah, you're, you're right. I could have done that. My country, the genius has done it. GJ. I think it meant GG. Hurrah. Yay. The Tulukur Empire is finally a westernized nation. Now what? Um. Well, for sure, we're going to make bank off mining and farming. Rubber. How much rubber are we producing? Zero. Wait, no, that's rubber. Tropical wood. I meant... 11% of the tropical wood and cows, cattle, 6.7%. It's pretty good. But with 10 million people now. Ooh, ooh, and we're westernized, so tariffs is going to be sweet. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, G GJ is good job. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. But yes, we can actually west. We we can actually oh westernize. We can actually build um stuff now. So I'm going to invest in the old, good old fashioned uh, industry. Now I think I'm going to invest in Africa first, right? But which I can't build many. There aren't many different types I can build. But I'll just build all the basics. And I've got to make sure I build it in Africa. You know, I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, canned food. Decor. I'm not going to build clippers because clippers don't do anything anymore. Did they do sawmill already? I did. Textiles. Cement. And I'm going to be um, 
subsidizing these factories for sure. I, I on and yeah, I know there is supposed to be like a strategy on where to find these, you know, wh where to put these places. The economy in this game makes no goddamn sense, honestly. Don't ask me to explain it. Oh shit. Um, you get liqueur. The old liqueur. Winery, sawmill, textiles, cement, glass, oops, fertilizer, steel, clothing, canned food, liquor, wine, and we need more up here. Wine, sawmill, textiles, cements, uh, and glass. There we go. Never thought I'd see the day. Wipes tears. Yep. Build all the factories. We could say the leader. Wait, we could say the leader of your country. I try to find, but I don't. Oh, the leader, like. I try to find, but I don't succeed. Uh, you mean what the name of the leader of my country is? I mean, I would technically be called a sultan. Sultan whatever. I don't know. Like, the Tulukur Empire is kind of weird in history. So I, I'm not really sure. But yes, um, we are now Westernization. Look at that. Five whole research points, ladies and gents. Five. <gasps> I'm so proud. Okay. Um, yeah, our, our, our economy is going to start fluctuating. I am certain a lot of people are going to start running away. Uh, how can't we... Oh, wait. We can't get another reform until... July 1st. We have a lot of reactionaries now. Lots of reactionaries indeed. But they're not going to be able to take my lands. Because I have too many. Too many soldiers. I'm definitely going to get some reforms though. Definitely going to get some reforms. Oh, when was it? July? What do you guys want exactly? Oyo liber- Yeah, they all want to get liberated. Minimum wage. We could definitely do um, a social reform, but I think I want to do a. Um, I want to do political reforms first. You know? Okay, cultural rights. We have so many different cultures in our land. I think we should focus on cultural rights first, you know? Oh, and Upper House should be based off population because I want a lot of liberalism in my land. Or liberalism, like, to, you know, actually reform things. Alright, intellectuals. I need to, uh... First of all, I need to get philosophy. I should have gone for that first. So I can get philosophy to get a lot more research points, and then I should have gone that political thought, so that I can actually get a lot more intellectuals. But, honestly, there's not much else I'm gonna be doing. I'm just gonna be sitting around and, uh... reforming debtor's prison. It speeds up pop upgrades, does it? Right. Right, it does. Because peonage really hurts the poor people. True. Hmm. But yeah, I mean, for now, I guess we're just going to be sitting around, reforming, doing other things. Hmm. But actually, I think, um... I think I'm going to... I don't know. Should I end the live stream or should I play a different game? Because it's going to be pretty boring from here on out. It's just going to be me... Building up an industry and stuff. Here, let me save the game. What do you guys think? Should I go to a different game for now? I want to see a campaign with the Mother Russia and create the Great Soviet Union in full tank. I love the Russian bias. Um, I, I actually did do Russia. I did Russia before. I don't think I completed it. Did I, did I complete it? No, I did complete it. it. It wasn't a good series, though. What? No way. No, sorry, mate. It's 2 a.m. Uh, sorry, if someone commented that. On my uh, video I posted on YouTube to tell you guys to watch. But, um, yeah. Sorry, it's Eastern Standard Time. So, it's eight, it was 8 o'clock when I started. 9 o'clock now. Um, but, yeah, I think I'm going to switch off to another game. Do something completely different. I don't think it's going to be Paradox game. I've been playing a lot of SCP Secret Lab. Anyways. Um, so, thank you guys. This is just for the YouTube. But thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Elyria 2, and I'll see you guys in the next stream session. Goodbye.